Well, of course, our road game was uh, made my made up for three short ones. You know, is a is a pretty long one. And uh, but um, it's a, you know it's it's always great to play at Mossy Creek. There's no place like Mossy Creek. And uh, we, um, I just hope that we continue to improve and be more and more the football team that we really want to be. And uh, we've had improvement in some area every week. And and we've had some areas that we've gone backwards. Uh, and so we're looking forward to the time that as a, as a whole team we go forward. But uh, I certainly like the attitude um, uh, of our football team right now. Compared to this point last year, what, where is Karstum in terms of its mentality, its state of being, as opposed to the 2012 version of the Eagles? Well, I don't spend a lot of time looking backwards. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> I think. Uh, I can't really answer that. Uh, you know, first of all, you don't know comparatively what you're lining up against, you know, as far as opposition is concerned. But I think, uh, uh, you know, we're a year older than last year. A lot of them are. And so, uh, uh, you know, and then the young ones uh, uh, have made pretty good progress. So I think uh, I think we're, we're on track uh, to being a pretty good football team. You look at Catawba. <laughs> probably smarting a little bit after getting shut out for the first time in uh, 210 games against the Newberry Wolves. Uh, what do, you, do you like the timing of getting a team that might be licking their wounds a bit, or uh, is this a club that you know you, you don't want to face them after they got shellacked pretty bad because they might be smarting and ready to come take it at you? Well, I think anytime you get beat, uh, it has a negative effect. Uh, whether it has a lasting neg negative effect or not, you know, you hope to fix that pretty quick when you lose a ball game. And uh, I'm sure that's what they're thinking. And um, of course, you know, it's Catawba, Carson Newman. You know, that's always, a, uh, in years past, that's been a, a crossroads game in the league. And so uh, I'm sure that um, this is a very important game for them, just like it is for us. And and we have to go uh, play well and, and uh, you know, we realize that every play counts and, and that uh, we need to uh, uh, continue to block and tackle like we need to and get better in that area. And, you know, fundamentally, it's a, it's a fundamental game. You know, uh, football is a fundamental game and, uh, and work to keep fundamentally getting better. Uh, we're getting too many penalties. Uh, we're getting the ball on the ground too much. Uh, and one reason why uh, Catawba uh, struggled some last week is they didn't handle the rain probably as well as they'd like to handle the rain. It was probably a couple of inches that fell while, you know, during the ball game. And uh, so uh, I'm sure they think that's something that's correctable and something that they can do better. And, they got a veteran quarterback. It's been in about every situation you could ever think about. And so I'm sure um, I'm still, I'd, I'd say they're still pretty confident about themselves. They're two and one, and they're probably pretty confident. You bring up the quarterback and Danny O'Brien. What makes him a good QB? Like aside from him being a former D1 guy and 2010 ACC freshman of the year. Well, he can make all the throws. You know, you, he's a talented guy. There's a reason why he was the freshman of the year in the Atlantic uh, Land Coast Conference. And uh, he can make all the throws. He's got, uh, uh, you know, he has a great ability and he has good field presence. And he uh, he's a team player. Looks to me like, watching him on video, he's constantly encouraging other people. And, and that's a sign of a great quarterback. What about uh, this Catawba club as a whole? turned the ball over once, either by fumble or by interception. How do you generate some heat on them to do something that you have done very well this year, and that's generate takeaways? Well, they've done a good job of uh, keeping it pretty simple as far as, uh, uh, you know, the quarterback getting the ball out of his hand real quick. And of course, he's a veteran, which means he's not going to throw it with us a different color jersey. And, and uh, the Running back is a guy that uh, is hard to get a contact on because he's quick. And uh, so, you know, they got a good package. And it's just a matter of, um, of uh, them taking, them consciously taking care of the football. Is this the least you've been banged up coming out of the game in terms of your health? No, we're banged up pretty good. We're, uh, uh, 
we just um, uh, we got a lot of people that won't play in this ball game, and uh, so uh, and we got uh, we still got results from uh, uh, scans uh, that aren't in yet, and so I'm afraid our list is going to continue to grow, and uh, so we. Uh, but we'll have somebody to step up and play football. That's that's the name of the game. How good has it been then that two out of your three weeks of the season that you've been able to get some second teamers significant action, really against Wayne State from the second drive of the second half on and against Brevard from the middle of the third period on? Well, I think uh, uh, our uh, – our young guys need to get ready to play. You know, some of them have already had to play, and uh, so anytime you get game experience, uh, that's a that's a big step forward. You know, you can talk a whole lot about practice and how to prepare in practice, et cetera. But until you get in a game, you haven't experienced uh, game experience or game speed or game intensity, and so it's a uh, uh, it's great. I think uh, you told me we played 90 people last week, and that's tremendous. That's what that's what we want to do. Where is this team in terms of its mentality, its presence off the field? Well, you need to ask them. I hope uh, I hope that we're a team that uh, has enough maturity to understand that every day counts, and and that there's not any ball game that's not important. Uh, that every one of them. Uh, has an equal value. There's not any that has this value and this value and this value or this value. They all have equal value, and uh, and I hope that they understand that um, uh, that everybody that we play against uh, are going to want to. We're not going to get anybody's second effort. You know, we're going to get everybody's good effort, and that's great. That means we got to give our good effort, and so uh, hopefully uh, we got enough maturity to understand that. How does the injury to Baker? Rotation and running back at this point. Well, it impacts it a lot. Uh, first of all, it means that he's not going. He's not. He's not a starter anymore. And uh, and second of all, you know, how do you replace a guy that was a 1,500 yard rusher last year? You know, and so uh, we'll miss him tremendously this ball game, no question. And then defensively, getting prepared for the week. A week after, you see three running backs in the backfield. Now you'll see this spread a spread option attack. How do you get the defense ready for that? Well, it's exciting. Uh, the defensive coaches uh, are having a, uh, their, uh, all those uh, millions of dollars they get paid, they're earning it right now because, uh, you know, <laughs> that's a joke. Uh, the uh, the uh, thing that, uh, uh, that they've gone from, they've gone from a, a, a pretty basic, basic pro-I Offense with a lot of play action pass. Uh, they ended up throwing it 46 times against us, but they wanted to come out and run it, and they got behind and had to change their. Uh, you know, and that's Wayne State and the second team. Uh, you know, was a uh, uh, spread it all over the field and throw it, throw it, throw it, and and uh, now uh, the third team was a wishbone. So we've seen three distinctive offenses. I think Catawba. Is a combination of the first two, uh, where they're going to be in a shotgun and they're going to try to spread you out, and then sometimes they're going to try to come right at you. And so um, uh, it's uh, it's a good uh, uh, good defensive uh, keep you awake at night. It's a good time to to uh, try to figure out what the other team's going to do. But we got a good defensive staff, and they do a great job in making the adjustments. And our kids. You know, the fact we got four senior linebackers, that really helps as far as adjustments because a lot of adjustments have to come from linebackers, and they do a good job with it. Seems like the special team's been a few inches away from making a big play. Of course, Pope last week almost with a kickoff return, East Brown. Is that something that you guys are trying to work on this week and try to actually get a breakthrough uh, with a big play on special teams? Well, uh, I probably spend more time with special teams than I do any other section uh, of our football team. So uh, we realize that uh, – a lot of plays that decide ball games are decided with special teams, and so we try our best to, you know, make that work for us. And uh, uh, we, you know, we've played some young guys on special teams, and they're getting better at it. And uh, uh, 
Uh, and we got a couple of pretty dangerous people. You saw it down Marcellus Pope. He's a dangerous returner. And uh, if um, if we'd held a block, uh, he's taken a lot of harassment this week too, especially from me. That uh, the key core tripped him up, you know. But if he'd had, if one other person had held a block just a little bit longer, he'd had a little bit uh, more space to run away from the kicker. He didn't have a whole lot of space. So, uh, but. Uh, I hope that we continue. Of course, when you got somebody like Kurt Duncan, that makes it uh, 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 a lot of fun. To, uh, it gives you some weapons. And so uh, and we uh, just got to continue to get better. We're making some mistakes on special teams. We got to eliminate those. And uh, But uh, Coach Waits and his staff are doing a great job uh, of getting those uh, special warfare assignment groups ready. <coughs> How's Catawba changed from Hester to the current region? Well, you know, right off the bat, you don't see a whole lot of uh, differences. Uh, uh, some some little things, uh, uh, but now they haven't played Carson Newman, <clears throat> so I don't know what we'll see. I think we're going to see. I think we're going to be surprised a little bit, Saturday, of some of the things. I, I hope not surprised in the fact that we hadn't worked on it, but surprised of what they've shown other people so far of what we'll see Saturday. I think we'll see some things differently in what they've shown.